over the last few years, Disney has faced disaster at the box office. Flop after flop, failure after failure. Some of the biggest they've seen in the history of their studio. When you look at things like Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny or even the Marvels, which just recently came out. Massive, multi-hundred million dollar failures. And with the release of Wish, they were desperate that that could be the thing that changes things. That could be finally the thing that brings the families back, that brings the audience back. But no, that has not been the case. Wish has proven once again that fans, families, audience members have walked away from Disney. They have been burned too many times by this company and they're not going back. Look at the headlines we have today. Disney's Wish underperforms at the box office. Disney hits second straight Thanksgiving weekend disappointment as Wish box office underwhelms. And even in the Hollywood Reporter, Wish sings out of tune. People thought that Wish was going to top the box office. It, it was almost automatic. Okay, it'll be number one at the box office over Thanksgiving weekend, but really, where is it going to be? How much money will it make? Would it track well enough to actually make money at the box office, which we have not seen from a Disney animated movie in years at this point, which is just insane to even think about. But no, instead, it's looking at third place behind the second weekend of Hunger Games and Napoleon. Nobody thought Napoleon had a chance to compete with Wish until Wish just continued to dive bomb. We talked about it when the Thursday and Friday numbers came in and Wish was tracking behind Napoleon and then it finally became a reality that this thing might lose. And here we go. The first numbers that we get from Saturday and then projected out through Sunday, $7 million Saturday projected for $31.5 million. 31.5 million is almost as bad as Elemental's opening, and Elemental just had a normal opening, not an extra couple day holiday like Thanksgiving. This is a bigger disaster than I think anyone could have possibly expected. Even if it opened to like $50 million like they originally projected, it would have been bad. It would have had a tough time making its money back. That would have been a bad scenario for them. Now, you're looking at another unthinkable Disney box office disaster. Uh, they, they don't even have Wish. Look at this. Think about this. The Hollywood Reporter for Wish's box office opening, it's not even pictured because it couldn't even crack the top two. It's going to sit there at number three at the box office. Tracking had Wish, an original story with no affiliated IP, topping the Thanksgiving chart with a five-day feast of 45 to 50 million. Instead, it's likewise looking at a five-day gross in the 32 to 33 million dollar range. And with the numbers that just came in, it's probably going to be a little under that. 31.5. That's the newest tracking for the Thanksgiving five-day holiday weekend. Are you shitting me? Just like we saw with Lightyear and Strange World, this is another Disney box office animation failure. Universal has just dominated them when it comes to animation lately. In fact, Trolls in its second weekend is going to make nearly as much as Wish did in its debut. This is just an all-around nightmare for them that's going to continue to get worse because this is, again, more proof that families do not trust Disney anymore. Families don't want to take their kids to a Disney movie because they don't know what kind of fucking propaganda they're going to get out there. Disney was looked at as a family-friendly brand for so long. It's literally what they built this company on. And now that is no longer the case. Fans have walked away, audiences have walked away, and families are telling Disney to go fuck themselves. Wish is another Disney box office nightmare. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.